Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how I created these candy melt numbers and plaque. These are very easy to make, especially when you want to personalise decorations. I'm using rainbow sprinkles which really help the colourful finish. You can make these in various other sprinkles and colours to change up the look too. I started with my printout of numbers. It helps to have thicker fonts so you end up with sturdier decorations. I also have white candy melts which I melted and a piping bag to pipe them out. I'm using tiny sprinkles which are on the left. They tend to give a better finish rather than larger ones. I popped my image into a plastic document cover as this will be the surface I'll be working on. I'm creating number decorations that can be inserted into the surface of a cake to stand upright. So I'm using wooden barbecue sticks, which I trim down to size. I use a pair of scissors to score around the wooden stick and then I snap it in half. I'm working on a tray so that any stray sprinkles will be contained rather than making a mess everywhere. I melt my candy melts into a bowl till smooth and then fill my piping bag. I trim about half a centimetre of an opening and test it out on a plate or a napkin. I first start by sticking my wooden stick on the bottom half of the number. I then outline the shape and finally filling in the entire number completely. I'm filling in with a lot of candy melts, and but this will only help create a sturdier decoration. The more candy melts I'm adding, the thicker and sturdier this number will be. Once piped, I then sprinkle over the pipe design with rainbow sprinkles filling in the entire surface of the number. This really helps hide any unevenness from the candy melts underneath. I very gently press the sprinkles into the candy melts to help flatten the shape slightly and then add any more sprinkles if needed. To clear away any extra sprinkles I shuffle my template, you can even tip the tray a little too. Then using a butter knife I neaten the edges to give a cleaner finish. I then do the same for the next number. Here I'm adding two supports, but still hiding them in the body of the number. I pipe the outline just the same as I did with the number one, and then add sprinkles also. You can choose not to add the wooden sticks for support if you're going to lay these numbers flat on a cake. This is just an option if you want to put them upright. Once the numbers are completed, I pop the tray into the fridge for around 15 minutes to set up. And once they're dry, I carefully peel them away from the plastic. And you're left with a sprinkled number, which is quite sturdy, but looks really good. You will have some sprinkles that do fall away naturally, but most of them are stuck on really well. The next part to this video is showing you how to make a sprinkled black. Here I have a simple oval shape and the word mom which is going to fit inside it. I pop my oval shape into a plastic document cover and then I fill this space with candy melts which I've melted. Um, this is just a pink colour but I'm going to be using the same sprinkles so you really won't see the colour of this chocolate at all. I give it a bit of a shake to keep, make it even and then start to sprinkle the rainbow sprinkles over the entire surface. I use the base of a glass which helps lightly flatten the plaque surface so you have a more even surface to work on. And I also neaten the sides with a butter knife for this too. This part's really simple. After I've done this, I just pop it in the fridge for about 15-20 minutes to set up. Here I have my word placed in a plastic document cover. This needs to be reverse printed as I'll be using the smooth underside on top. I carefully pipe this with candy melts, which can be a little bit tricky, so just take your time. Once done, I place this in the fridge to set up. 
Another idea for my plaque is to add some gold luster dust and I'm doing this after it's been set up in the fridge and I just carefully brush this on. I gently peel it away from the plastic and this is what you're left with. Now would be a good time to add wooden supports if you'd like to have this plaque sitting upright. Once my letters are ready, I carefully peeled them away from the plastic and arranged them onto the sprinkle plaque. And once I was happy with the placement, I then stuck them down with a few dots of candy melts on the back. I also added a few pearl details to the plaque, just as a decoration idea. You can add leaves or chocolate flowers too. And this is the final result. You can create your own personalised decorations with the use of candy melts and sprinkles and achieve some really lovely results. Well, I hope you liked this video, I hope it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.